I think people don't realize how bad the pet trade really is. They just see this cute animal that's for sale online and they want it and they can afford it, so they buy it. And it's really sad to think that people don't see how sad that is. Mama Gilla! You coming, Willie? Come on, monster. There are so many videos of people's pet monkeys and apes wearing clothes and diapers all over social media. These animals are being bred and these babies are being ripped off of their mother's bodies. They're being bottle fed. They're being raised so that they're more comfortable and docile around humans, but they're not human. They're wild animals and people forget that once they hit a certain age, they start developing their normal tendencies. They're not gonna be able to be what they are. They're gonna be treated like humans and then punished when they're acting like what they are, which is a wild animal. That's why we use the stick. They will gladly grab you, bite you if they get the chance. They are still wild animals. Megilla was a pet and she wore diapers and had clothes and all of these fun things. And then she went to a petting zoo and lived in a small cage there for people to look at and started getting aggressive and scratching and biting people. And Willie has been here for 23 years, actually, and he is 25 years old. And he was also relinquished from the pet trade after he started hitting sexual maturity and being aggressive to his owners. He's been here the majority of his life. So he's been able to be a wild monkey the majority of his life, which is nice, but you can also see how he's just a little awkward from four years of being a pet. You know, it's always nerve-wracking when you get an expat who's never lived with other primates. They often don't know how to communicate with others because they've never been around them. They're not taught how to forage. They're not taught how to communicate. They're not taught how to groom. But just to watch them grow as they develop here and build a relationship with another group and settle in, that part is really nice because you watch those abnormal behaviors slowly fade. Magilla. She was the first macaque that climbed a tree. And I think we all cried that day because it was just amazing to see her just scurry on up and just sit in the tree. And we're like, oh my gosh, finally someone did it. Just to be able to see that, to know that she lived in someone's house and wore diapers and now she's able to act like a real monkey. It's just, it's amazing. I think sanctuary, the epitome of sanctuary is choice. These animals get to choose what they want to do. They don't want to enjoy your enrichment, they don't have to. If they don't want to go outside, they don't have to. <laughs> Just had to make an appearance yep. and then he's done. It's good to see that like, she can be wild and tell me, nope, you need to back up. Or other times she'd be like, groom my chest. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that belly. This is a retirement home. Everybody here is gonna die here. And that can be a super depressing fact, but it's also a really big positive because you know the end of their life is going to be at a sanctuary. It's not going to be put back in the pet trade. They came from terrible situations and they've earned their retirement to do whatever they want.